it has settled down just a little bit. I mean, it is still very close. Although we were heading into the section where Barsha tried to dive bomb on Metcalf a lap ago. So this might be where the action starts to pick up. Metcalf on the 24. Barsha, here he is. It's an outside line that he likes to use. He's going to go for it. Momentum. This is Barsha's kind of favorite spot at the moment. Just bam, bam it around the outside and then cut up the inside, but still unable to find a way around Brett Metcalf, who is really keeping his head in this moto with a lot of pressure from some heavy artillery behind him. This guy is just riding silky smooth. I mean, that's Medi. We've always said he's, you know, he's solid. He has a look. He's like, okay, it's Barsha, which means he might, he might be slam me in the next turn. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. He's really keeping his head cool. And oh, they we got split it late. Oh, and Barsha there buries it in the rut. Crowd goes wild because they could tell. And now we got Rocks in there breathing it on his neck. Well. Barsha tried a different line to set up Metcalf. I believe that was the first time he took that line. Wasn't able to negotiate it as smoothly. And now, oh, serious heat coming from Roxon on the 94. You see both Roxon and Barsha pulling. Oh. Roxon, he's got him. Wow, that was just straight up, just late break, go around the outside. That was impressive. Now look at him. He is feeling it right now. He has got the adrenaline going. The crowd is on their feet. Look They're side, side of the by helmet. side. He's going to go into the lead, and I think I got an idea why. Roxon, I believe his tear-offs are hanging off the side of the helmet. He might know he can't hang in there behind these guys. Oh. Take it loose. Metcalf gets it back. What a catchy move. move. Woo. Grabs a handful, goes around. Oh, they almost make contact there. Ken Roxon has gone from third to first in about half of a lap. Now talk about what you see on the left side of the helmet. Exactly what you just called. You called it out, Jason. Great observation there. His, I think what's happened is he's his whole tarot stack, you gotta remember, they're laminate, so they're laminated together, so, you know, so it doesn't affect your actual vision. And I think what's happened is either a peg broke, or he pulled one and pulled the whole thing, but you could see the stack hanging off the side, and I think he thought, holy smokes, I've got to get in the lead because I have zero visibility after this.